First person there. Yes, uh, uh, I'm sure uh, uh, people who are does all this and government, they know that uh, they can solve all this. Uh, mostly, not all of it, but uh, the fundamental problem by just doing away with the gold standard, doing away with the debt money, and just print out the money according to the population of the nation, right? Sort of. Sort of. Not yeah. I mean, I can tell you what I think my version of that is, how this really ends. Right? Uh -huh. um, you have to turn the ECB into a bad bank. I'm sorry? You have to turn the European Central Bank into a bad <laughs> bank. Right? I mean, quite serious. Basically, what you need to do is you've got a problem on the balance sheets of very big over-levered banks. So what you have to do is you have to go in one night when nobody's looking, and the, we'll call it something like Maiden Lane, you know, because that's what we did here. <laughs> and we basically say, um, well, Mr. O'Neill, can you give me the shittiest assets on your book, please? And he goes, sure. How much would you like for that? A couple hundred billion. There you go. And you do an asset swap. And you call it something fancy like Maiden Lane 3 or whatever. And you stick it in the balance sheet of the bank. And you add huge amounts of liquidity. And you basically hope no one notices. <laughs> and if you allow the banks to delever, then without blowing up, then their ability to actually having a repaired balance sheet to lend more, even if they're smaller, with the right incentives, could actually get things going again. If you don't do that, you've got a problem because if I know that you're going to come in and do that, then basically I'm admitting that I'm devaluing those assets. So getting them off the balance sheet and into the central bank without anybody actually in doing this as a, noticing this as an implicit devaluation, that's the trick. In America, you can do that because you really are a currency union. There they're not. It's actually a fixed exchange rate system with cap internal capital flows masquerading as a currency union. So you're kind of saying a TARP for Europe is basically what that would be. I'm sorry, can you say again? That would be a TARP for Europe. That yes, it would be TARP for Europe, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. 